Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives. Uh, still working on our revisions for Power Machines N5. We shall be considering uh, the combustion of fuels by volume in this case. Uh, but this one, it's a conversion part that is happening. Uh, that is November 2022 exams. Let us consider question five, which is 5.1 where we are given a gas consists of 25% uh, carbon dioxide, 20% of uh, CH4 uh, in this case. So this is uh, just a special uh, fuel that we refer to as methane in this case, all right? So this is a methane. And we've got 50% of uh, nitrogen, 5% of oxygen by volume. So these percentages that we see here, they were being taken by what? by volume so convert the given volume analysis so we are given this volume analysis of one cubic meter fuel to mass analysis in this case we are supposed to convert this to mass and determine the percentages all right so what is it that we are going to require or that we are going to need in order for us to convert a volume analysis to a mass analysis in this case. All right. So remember, this is what we got uh, from our information. We have got uh, our carbon dioxide in this case, which is at uh, 25%. Uh, we have got uh, the methane, which is the gas, which is given as uh, 20%. Uh, nitrogen, which is uh, at 50%. All right. Nitrogen at 50%. Then we've got 5% of oxygen, which is our oxygen in this case at uh, 5%. Given per one cubic meter of volume, everything that we have here is taken by what? By volume, which is at what? At one cubic meter fuel. All right. And we need to convert to volume, uh, to mass. So when you are converting to mass, we are going to need this table. All right, let me just write here. We are converting from volume to mass, all right? From volume to mass. Uh, you are going to need the table that gives us a, a conversions uh, that can happen all whenever you're dealing with volume to mass. Also, when you are dealing with the mass to, uh, to volume, you are going to need the table. So on your table, you are going to need the symbol that is going to affect, you're going to need the symbol in this case. Uh, then you're going to need the percentage uh, by volume in this case, which is the percentage volume. Uh, we can just refer this as A. We are going to need uh, the molecular mass. So meaning to say, uh, uh, we are going to need uh, the molecular mass in this case, meaning we are going to need to calculate that all right, so the molecular mass, you can just write this as our B, this case, all right, for molecular mass. Then we need the, uh, the product of these two, uh, that is the percentage uh, volume, the percentage volume that we had here, the, the percentage volume that we had uh, times the molecular mass. So remember, the, uh, this was A, percentage volume, this is A times the molecular mass, which is B. So simply we need A times B in this case, which is uh, the molecular uh, mass. All right, so this gives us C. The whole part of this combination is giving us what we refer to as uh, C. Then at the end, we are going to need, or oh, we are going to have the percentage mass. So that's the table that you're going to need. Uh, the symbol and so forth and so forth. All right, so uh, let me just draw this properly so that we can fit in our values in this case. All right, so that's we are going to have something of uh, this nature here uh, on our table. Uh, so as we can check from this table here, what we actually need, uh, the symbols are the ones that we are having here. Then these are the volume that we are given. Remember, these are the percentages by volume already we are given. So the molecular mass, meaning to say we need to go back to the atomic masses. Remember, I said also you're supposed to know the atomic uh, masses by, by heart in this case, all right? These ones, you're supposed to know them because sometimes they give you, sometimes they do not, all right? So 
we are dealing with carbon in this case to give us carbon dioxide. So the molecular mass for carbon, that's 12 uh, oxygen, which is uh, 16. Then we also have the hydrogen there. We're gonna need that one, hydrogen is one. We also have nitrogen and the, uh, the atomic mass for nitrogen is uh, 14. All right, so these are the atomic masses that we are going to consider uh, for each. So let us fill in uh, on our table here. So the first part that we are given here is carbon dioxide, which is a product. Carbon dioxide is a product that we are referring to. So we need each and every part that we have here. So that is a uh, carbon dioxide. Let us just write the first one, uh, carbon dioxide in this case. The percentage by volume in this case, we are given that it carries 25% by volume. So this is at 25%. What will be the molecular mass? So the molecular mass is uh, the one that we are going to refer from the atomic masses. Remember how you calculate from the atomic mass. From our atomic mass, if I am given uh, hydrogen, I simply use the prefix here, which is the suffix, which is gonna be two times uh, the atomic mass of hydrogen, which is two. Same with, with even the products. So here for carbon dioxide, we say we have got one carbon in this case, so it's going to be one times the carbon that we have, which is 12. Then the hydrogen, uh, the oxygen that we have, there are two of them. So we are going to add two times the oxygen that we have an oxygen there is what is 16. So we are going to add together. So we combine everything that gives us uh, the corresponding mass for, for, for uh, which is the molecular mass. All right, so that is how we can calculate this. Uh, let's just, so we can just push a little bit so that we can have our answer here. All right, I hope it will be clear on this other side. So we are going to obtain uh, 44 if we are to simplify properly. Then on this part, it's A times B volume times the molecular mass. We are now taking the volume of 25, the molecular mass of 24. So here we are simply multiplying 25 times 44. That is A times B on your table, which is going to be 1,100. So as you can see, all you need is to know the table. All right, for the percentage mass, we can't calculate it now because we do not have the total uh, mass in this case. We need the total mass first, then we can calculate the percentage. So that is how we are going to fill in the table throughout. You move on to the second one, which is the methane in this case, which is CH4, uh, which is the percentage there. It consists of 20%. So it is going to take 20%. The molecular mass, how many carbons do we have? We've got one carbon. So it's going to be one times the atomic mass of carbon, which is 12. Uh, plus uh, how many hydrogens that we have, it's four. So it's going to be four times uh, hydrogen, which is one. So we are going to combine this part, which is going to give us uh, 16 in this case. Then here's just A times B. That is A volume times this, so it's 20 times 16. So you're gonna have 20 by 16. Uh, this was going to give us uh, 320. Again, we do the same throughout. Uh, we move on to nitrogen. In this case, uh, according to its analysis that we have, it is carrying nitrogen 50%. So these percentages, they must add up to 100, all of them, because these are the ones that we are consisting in the combustion. So it must, they must add up to 100%. So we've got 50% by volume of nitrogen. We move on to molecular mass remember in terms of atomic mass it's why it's 14 there so it's going to be two of them uh multiplied by 14 so two by 14 which is going to be 28 then we multiply a times b which is our c in this case so 50 times 28 uh that was going to give us uh, 50 times 28 which is 1400 so that is the whole part we move on to oxygen uh, that is the last part that we have there. So oxygen in this case, that's uh, O2, meaning to say according to percentage, it is carrying 5%. So this is 5% by volume. Then the molecular mass for oxygen, uh, we have got two of them in this case times the atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16. Uh, remember we listed our atomic masses like here what I was explaining. So oxygen 
atomic mass 16. So two times 16, we are going to obtain uh, 32 in this case. Uh, that will be a 32. So here there we are referring to the molecular mass. Then A times B, which is five times 32. So you're gonna have five times 32, which is going to give us 160. So if we are to consider, like I was saying, the totals in this case for these percentages, they must add up to 100%. These are the percentages, all of them that we are given. We must obtain 100% uh, percent in this case. Then in terms of the total mass, so this one is your mass in this case. So the total mass in this case is going to be given as what? So we are going to obtain a total mass of, um, if we add everything that was going to be 2,980 uh, kgs in this case. This is now we have converted to mass. So here, when we are multiplying volume in this, whatever that you're multiplying, we are getting the mass. Thing. That is now we are having the, the mass uh, from the product of uh, the, the product of the volume and the molecular mass. So that is how we are going to have. And um, at the end, they also required us to have the percentages that that's why I'm having this table with the percentage of mass. So you are going to use the total mass to each part that you are given to say for carbon dioxide, its mass is 1,100. So with the mass, of 1,100 over the total mass, in this case of 2,980 times 100%, we are supposed to obtain the percentage corresponding to carbon dioxide in this case, which was going to be something like uh, 36,913,913%. .913, you do the same thing for methane in this case, which is 320, so it's the 320 over the total mass times 100%. So that was going to give us, in this case, 10,738%. Uh, you do the same thing for nitrogen. In this case, it has got 1,400 kgs out of 2,980 kgs. So you multiply that by 100%, which was going to be 46,980%. Uh, you do the same thing for oxygen. It has got 160 kgs out of two. 1,908 times 100 percent. So that was going to be 5,369%. Uh, so adding your percentages, you must obtain 100 percent uh, for the mass that you are given, which is the same scenario like what we had, or which is the same situation like what we had from uh, our volume in this case, all right? We had 100 percent by volume. So we must also have 100 percent by mass. So that's the whole uh, part that you're going to consider on your calculations. For the molecular mass, this one, we do not even require if there's no need. Uh, we need the actual mass, which is the total mass in this case. So that's how uh, we're supposed to attempt this typical question. You need to know the atomic mass of each. So meaning to say, you must be able to memorize and know your atomic masses uh, by heart then with the atomic mass that you are given for each, you can now use this table. So we are going to say that for mass to volume analysis, we are going to have a different table. This was volume to mass. So when you are dealing with the opposite one, which is uh, mass to volume, you are going to have a different table, but the same formality like, uh, or you see that is just similar, but the table there, it is going to be different. So make sure that you check that video. Uh, when we are converting from mass to volume, uh, that is the other analysis that can uh, be asked in your, in your exams. So make sure that you understand each analysis from volume to mass and also from mass to volume, which is a vice versa. Uh, and also just to work with um, uh, the combustion of fuels by mass on its own without any conversion. Uh, that can also help us a lot uh, to prepare for the exams uh, which are ahead of time.